I don't think I ever told you about this place in San Gerardo de Lota that we went to when we were staying in Costa Rica. Every time I go back home and I go to the beach or to the volcano or somewhere where I used to spend a lot of time as a kid, I'm amazed by how much it has changed in such a short amount of time. This place, however, seems to remain quite the same. It is quiet with birds everywhere and a river that passes right through. I have been back several times and every time I think to myself, this is where I would love to retire and just spend my days reading by the river and writing and going out for walks. It just, yeah. <laughs> This place where we stayed was right next to the river in amongst the trees and I think about it often. I think there are places that really awaken your desires and vision for yourself if, you know, money was not a problem or the logistics of leaving everything behind wasn't the problem. Anyway, this is all to say that I really want to be able to tap into these desires in my day-to-day -day life and not just think about them as something that will happen when and if. I know it's something that most of us find really tricky, how to balance work and just really existing and surviving, you know, having to cook for yourself, having to clean, tend to your relationships, tend to yourself with the things that we really love doing that potentially take energy and effort and time and don't necessarily and very often don't have any monetary return. I am constantly thinking to myself, how can I detach my productivity from my value as a person in a way that is realistic and sustainable um, and not in the way that suddenly the things that I really want to do are part of another to-do list or are stressing me out because I'm not doing them as consistently as I would want or I'm not doing them because I'm really tired, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm also thinking to myself, like, when is patience and grace required? And when is, you know, some self-respect and discipline required? Not that I love the word discipline, I don't have a good relationship with discipline <laughs> and I don't love viewing the things that are my interest through that lens but it is very evident to me that if there isn't some sort of routine or if it's not something that I schedule in intentionally these things tend to not happen. I guess continuing this conversation with myself with curiosity and honesty is a big step <laughs> and um, I think I just find it really difficult to tend to all my interests in a way that makes me feel satisfied and whole as a person and I think a lot of that stems from the idea that you have to niche down and you have to focus on one thing so you can become the master of that one thing and that works really well for businesses <laughs> but as a person I want to rid myself of that and I also want to rid the things that I do creatively like these videos of that energy um, I don't need to master one thing. <laughs> I think there's a lot of value that comes from enjoying a plethora of hobbies and having many different interests and they all feed off each other. Um, yeah, anyway, I would really love a house in the mountains. <laughs> That's the main point. <laughs> By a river. <laughs> oh. Another day, another matcha. I've been having this matcha every day since I made it last. <laughs> I made it in last video. I had made a plum and ginger jam and someone told me in the comments to make it into a syrup and so I did. I just added a little bit of water and then I had very 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 low expectations for it but it ended up being one of the best matchas I've had. The tanginess and the sweetness and the ginger with the matcha it just goes so well. Before we continue on with the video, I wanted to give a big, big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. It is no secret by now. It's just, it, there's no secret if you've been watching my videos that I absolutely love them. I've been wearing their jewelry on the daily for, you know, I think going on three, four years now. And the first order I received was some golden pieces that I still have that look like I bought them, you know, like a week ago. And that is one of the things that I appreciate the most about Ana Luisa, apart from their designs being, you know, designs that I love. But their pieces are meant to be long lasting and are tarnish resistant, which means that they're meant to last you a long time. And that is really important to me when it comes to jewelry because 
I want my jewelry to last me years and years and Ana Luisa does that which is incredible given that their jewelry is quite affordable with their pieces starting at $39 and I think that the way that they design their jewelry is for these pieces to complement each other and you can just layer them depending on your outfit or what your mood is and there are some pieces that are just my all-time favorites being this one <laughs> that I know I know you've seen me wear just maybe a little too often um, but I've decided to get myself some silver hoops to go with it and you know just because I know I've been wearing this so often I decided to get a gold version of it because I do have so many gold pieces. Ana Luisa right now is holding a 25% off limited sale for Mother's Day. It can be a day that you celebrate, you know, the people around you who have shown you support, who have shown you unconditional love, who have mentored you, who have taken care of you. That can be anyone, that can be a friend, that can be a family member, that can be whoever you choose that to be. I'll leave a link down below that you can click to get 25% off of all Ana Luisa designs. Um, as I said, it's a limited time only. And yeah, that is, that is all. Thank you Ana Luisa for all the beautiful jewelry that I get to wear <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I'm heading over to the library to return a whole heap of books and unfortunately I haven't been reading as much as I would like um, and I think I need to bring back the habit again. I have decided that I'm gonna allow myself to one book. I'm gonna buy one book from the bookstore and I know that when I'm out of a reading slump and when I'm reading a good book it just makes me want to write so that's what I'm hoping will happen. This is a thing with taking library books out so you never know what mood you're gonna be in and so I just like reserve heaps of things and then I start a book and it's just I know that I will like the book but it's just not the right time I'm such a mood reader um so that's what I'm going to go do um so yeah I need to go catch the bus uh, let's go this book which I have heard absolutely nothing about I tend to just read the first page and if I like the first page after I like the cover then I'm like let's go let's do it and I love not knowing anything about it or haven't heard anything about it because I tend to go with the list and yes <laughs> I did go with the list and I didn't find any of the books that I wanted you know there used to be a time where I would just go to the bookstore and pick something out without it being recommended or without looking at a Goodreads rating or you know whatever whatever um so this is what I'm gonna be reading and I'm excited on the other hand I got some books from the library um vulture capitalism I do not think that this will get me out of my reading slump <laughs> so we shall see. I still want to read nonfiction alongside fiction because 
I want to learn a little bit more. I got the Wren, the Wren, which I've been waiting for for like six months at this point. I don't know much about it to be honest. <laughs> I just saw someone recommend it. It seems quite popular. Um, I think Anne Patchett was also recommending it and saying that she absolutely adored this book. And then I got this book because I was following the Women Fiction Prize. Um, so yeah, this is the other one. Okay. In the wild we were born In the cadence of the storm Same sky, different shores Closed eyes I was in a lion's den And the cold was creeping in I'm just trying to feel again Tether No, it might be that one So remember when I said I didn't think this book was gonna get me out of my reading slump? Well, <laughs> I said to myself, I'm just gonna read one page and, and, and suss it out. And then I just had to get my little tags. I had to get my notebook. This was me at night, like at 10 p.m. on my bed. And I had to stop myself because I didn't want to go to bed too late. And this morning I started off my day by reading this <laughs> the first chapter is all about the boeing aircrafts and how cutting down on costs has led to immense tragedy of heaps of people dying through different airplane crashes and things that were totally preventable however um the main interest of this company is obviously to make money extremely interesting i am finding it hard to put it down and yeah so <laughs> there you go it's not necessarily making me want to write but it is definitely making me angry <laughs> so same same <laughs> Twin 